all new tonight at 10, this next homeowner dealing with something beyond anything we have seen so far. John Erickson is live tonight in South Phoenix. And John, a lot of people have flood water and mud in their home tonight after this storm, but this is, uh, this is a little bit different. Stephanie, we're near 27th Avenue and Dobbins, and the family that lives here had floodwaters fill their home on Tuesday. The water rushed in through a back fence and then indoors, and it brought in everything that was in its wake, including all sorts of horse manure from here in the backyard. It's thanks to him and his friends that Joyce Oliphant's home in Levine smells like horse manure. Tuesday's floodwaters broke down her door and brought everything that was outside in. Two days later, I woke up at four o'clock this morning, gagging from the stench. I mean, it smells like a sewer. Is the best way I can describe it. It's horse manure, dirt, debris, and and standing water. But the day that brought so much loss also brought life. Alifant's daughter lives here too, and had her son Jaden at the hospital just hours before the storm. He couldn't be better, but their home, well, of course it could be. I just started crying. It's sad because this is my first son, and uh, you kind of want everything to be perfect when you come home, and it's just not as far from. <laughs> the family's busy saving what they can, so much to do that there's no time to eat. This meal left untouched, and there will be no quick fix for this. Just a month ago, they had to cancel their flood insurance, couldn't afford it. Even so, there's hope here. If I can't keep it together and fix it, then how am I going to be able to raise a kid, right? They say the horses were standing in two feet of water here outside. Their dogs were swimming through their front yard. As you saw in the video, the water level in their house, including that manure and mud, got about a foot and a half up. They are, are asking for any help they can get. If you're interested in helping, just email me. I'll get in touch with them. Thank yeah, you. so heartbreaking and what should be such a joyful time for them. Hopefully some of our viewers will step in and get they'll be able to get the help they need. John, thank you.